Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to scrape and import web data into Excel using VBA macros. As an example, we're going to get data from this jobs portal and this is public data that anyone can see on the browser with no login needed and we are going to get it as a list or table like this in Excel. In previous videos we've seen how to import data using a web query. But in this case, we cannot get the data into a query table. We need some other method to do it. And luckily, there are many different ways to scrape and import data with VBA macros. One way to do it is using or automating the browser. This used to work pretty well with Internet Explorer, but that's kind of outdated. And now you need some external libraries like Selenium to automate Chrome or Edge too. And there's a bunch of videos about that on YouTube. Another way to do it is sending a HTTP request to get the data. And there are also different methods to send a HTTP request with VBA. We're going to use the XML HTTP, so we need to add that library in the VBA editor under Tools, References, and search for Microsoft XML 6.0 here which allows to send and work with an XML HTTP request to get the data as text, and then we'll put it into an HTML document. So we are also going to need this other library, Microsoft HTML Object Library, that allows to create and manipulate an HTML document. OK, so now let's add a module, and we're going to have a macro to scrape web data. And with this method, we need to declare a variable, let's call it HTTP rec, as a new Microsoft XML dot XML HTTP. And we will need another variable, HTML, as an HTML document. On top of that, we're going to have a URL as a string. And this is the URL example for jobs in London. But we can also put the city into a variable and get it from an input box or a validation in the worksheet, whatever works for you, and concatenate like this. But I'm going to just leave it as it is and check the URL works here. And we see the jobs in London as separate boxes with the job title, company, location, etc. Note that this URL only shows the first page. And there are 15 or 20 jobs on that page. So we're going to get only those 15 or 20 jobs. If you want to see the next 20 jobs manually on the browser, you click down here, page 2, right? And page 3, etc. That gives you a different URL. See here. In that URL, you have a parameter that says start. For page 2, starts on 10. And if we go to page 3, it starts on 20, and so on. So if you want more jobs, you need to use that URL, have a variable for start, and put it in a loop, changing the value of that variable and sending a request each time. For now, let's see how to get the jobs in that first page only. We need to send a HTTP request to that URL. So let me add a commentary here, send HTTP request to URL, and with HTTP rec dot open using the get method as we are getting the data for the URL that we just defined. And the third parameter indicates whether a call is asynchronous. So we set that to false. And then we send the request with dot send and end the with statement here. And we're going to get the response as text. So let's declare response to as a string. And the response is HTTP request dot response text. And we can debug print the response to see what we get with debug print response. And we add the immediate window here. That's where we see anything printed with debug print. And if I run the macro, we get the response as text here. And basically, we have everything we need to extract the information that we are after. It's in there. And as this video took longer than I expected, and I want to keep this in the simple short macro series, 
I will continue in a second video. So in the next video, part two, we'll see how to loop through that response to get the list of jobs with the information we are looking for. See you there and thanks for watching.